What's going on everybody? I've got my sparkling water. It is past 10 o'clock at night. Everyone is asleep. So I'm gonna show you how to do a Swiss grid tutorial for poster design. Let's get started. So the good news is when you're setting up grids for doing Swiss poster designs, there's not necessarily a hard and fast rule. Um, these are more like game plans rather than blueprints. So if you think about that, then you're going to be in good shape here. So what I'm going to do is I'm here in Illustrator and this is definitely where I recommend you set up all of your uh, poster design files because you want to keep everything in vector format. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to, um, if you haven't done it uh, already, go ahead and unlock your guides. You want to make sure that they're not um, that they're not locked, basically. Uh, Command R on the keyboard, or I believe it's Control R on Windows, will actually show your rulers over here. And you wanna make sure that your guides are unlocked, and in this case they are. And this is kind of a pro tip in Illustrator. Um, you can select your guide, and you can actually use your Pathfinder tools. So we can align it all the way to the left. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drag four as like a starting point right here. So I've got one on the left, one on the top, one on the right, one on the bottom. So what I, what I usually do is I've got this set up as 18 by 24 inches, all right? So usually for larger size posters, like 18 by 24, 18 by 27, 24 by 36, I usually leave about one and a half inch to a two inch margin around the edges. So on this particular one, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a two inch one just to keep it simple. And you can also use your move tool. So that's the inner key on the keyboard or you can go up through the object menu and go to transform or move in, in that particular case. So two inch, two inch, two inch. Okay, so now that these that the margin guides are in place, what I typically do is, th of course, this is depending on what all you're doing. And like I said earlier, it's more of a game plan than an actual blueprint. But I like to keep, as kind of a general rule, I like to do odd numbers going across and also going down. So the most common one that I use when I do Swiss poster designs is I do three sections uh, going across and I use and I do five sections going down. I find that this gives me enough flexibility when it comes to laying out uh, laying out the grids for the content that I'm wanting to create. Um, and just uh, just really quickly, I'll go ahead and show you exactly what I did there to separate those guys out and get them exactly where they need to be. So um, I'll move maybe a couple of these right here. Okay, so you wanna make sure that your first guide and your last guide are exactly in the position that you want them to be in. And then you can select all of the guides going across here. And you wanna make sure that in the align panel that your align to is aligned to the selection. And you can distribute the spacing, horizontal distribute space, click on that. And that way they're exactly, exactly where they need to be. All right, and you can do the same thing vertically as well. Now, let's say that you wanted to add an, uh, an extra guide here and then an extra guide here. Well, you can still do it. It'll actually still do the same thing. It'll just move those other guides over. So, um, but as a general rule, whenever I add two more uh, horizontally, I also add two more vertically. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then we can vertically distribute our spacing. Okay, so as far as as far as grids go, um, there are so many different types of grids that you can do, um, not just for Swiss poster design, but also for whatever type of poster that you're looking to create. Um, but just kind of keep it in mind as a general rule to do, you know, maybe like a, th like anywhere between three and five, or you can you can go all the way up to seven if you want to. Um, but just you know, like it's three by five five by seven, seven by nine, and so on and so forth. Um, and it really depends on how much content you're planning on adding to the poster itself. So you wanna make sure that you've got plenty of spaces or, or plenty of areas to 
um, to align your content to. And it's really simple as that. Now, one option that you can do if you want to is you can add gutters. So if you want to add gutters in between, let me let me just go back to three by five because that's that's the one that I'm most comfortable working with. So I'll just show you how to uh, add a, how to add a gutter quickly. And for me personally, I've never really found too much value in adding gutters. I'm sure that there's probably a reason for it, but just me personally, I, I usually just I usually don't add gutters. I find that aligning my content, whatever I need to align to, does just fine. But I'll show you I'll show you exactly uh, what to do here. So select one of your guides if you want to add a gutter, and um, you can hold down Option on your keyboard and move your mouse up, and then go back to that same guide, the one that's in the center, and then Option uh, click and drag down. Now select all three of them, and select the middle one. And I usually do maybe something like 0 0.0625 and distribute the space up and then just delete that middle one right there. That way, when you're finished, you have an eighth of an inch right here. And you can do the same thing going all the way down. Um, and you can also do the same thing going across as well. Um, I might as well go ahead and do it. Um, I'm sure there's a faster way to do this, but um, for the purposes of the video and just me talking while I do it, I'm not very good at multitasking, so I'm just gonna do this as I'm. I, I, I don't. I don't mind tedious work. That's why I'm a designer, right? Okay. So adding the gutters in, you can totally do this if you want to. Like I said, you don't have to. I don't really care whether or not you do it. Um, all that matters is, does your poster look good? When you're finished with it, does it does it look good? Does it communicate the message that you're trying to communicate? And that's really all that matters. Oops, let's do this again. Oh, and this is also something that I wanted to mention. When you select three different objects, what I'm doing here is I'm selecting these objects, I'm selecting that middle one, and this is my key object. So you can align to the key object, and this, this will actually show in your align panel on the right side. Delete that middle one and you're good to go. Okay. Uh, some people say that you can just, you know, that it kind of allows for a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of breathing room uh, when you're setting this up. Um, you know, like I said earlier, for me personally, I, f I find that I do just fine without the gutters. Um, maybe sometime I'll, I think, you know, I think what I'll do is I think in the next video that I do, whenever I do a Swiss design poster, um, I think I'll do it with the gutters and see how I like it. It's been a while since I've done that. But as a general rule, um, this is pretty much what I set up. And you know what? I'm going to try to multitask here. Let's see if I can get those exactly where I want them. Okay, well, it works just fine, right? Okay. Delete those middle ones. All right, and we're good to go. So now we've got we've got a full grid system, three by five, um, three across and five down. And whenever uh, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna actually make a poster right now. Um, I'm just gonna use uh, I'm just gonna use this as an example, just to kind of show you uh, what you can do. And I'll just use Manrope. That's one of my favorite fonts. Um, it may not be a may not necessarily be a Swiss design staple, but I think that it does, I think it does the job very well. Okay. So what you can do is whenever you're aligning uh, to here, you want to make sure that you've got smart guides on and then also uh, snap to grid uh, should be checked right here. So you can, well, actually you don't have to do snap, snap to grid if you've got the smart guides. If you've got smart guides, it'll automatically tell you um, exactly where you're going to have that. So, um, and I guess maybe if you wanted to do something like this, you know, like let's say that if you're wanting, you know, I said I wasn't going to make a poster and I'm not, I'm not going to actually make one. I'm just going to play around a little bit here and just see what happens. I think you guys have conned me into actually making a poster, but I'm not going to make a, I'm not going to make a full poster here. So select all of these and align. Okay, so now as you can see, we've got this bottom A is aligned to the grid. Um, 
not not a hundred percent optically um, to the left side. So let's move that over to where it's touching. Okay, I'm not even sure what this would necessarily be. Maybe. Maybe that, yeah. Make all of it red. See, this is why I shouldn't do tutorial videos. This is why I, yeah. I should just stick with the actual tutorial, but I know I'm gonna, I, I can't see text like this and not current it, so. <laughs> At you guys out there just I hear you snickering you're like oh he said he wasn't gonna make a poster well I'm not how many times have I said that now <laughs> okay and we're just gonna kern this and after this that's all I'm doing because pretty much the the tutorial part is over <laughs> but and my, my goal was to keep this video short Maybe, it, it, well, I think it'll be relatively short compared to the other videos that I've been doing. So, all right, so there's our grid, and um, let's do, just because I can't weave, leave well enough alone, something like that. And let's bring it up to there so that way so this is this is within our guides and also adhering to the gutters and you could easily duplicate it something like that and I might do that airlines I might do it in blue Okay. All right, this is all you're going to get from me <laughs> from this video. I haven't even taken a, a sip of my drink yet. But this is all you're getting from me. Okay, so what have we covered? We've covered that basically when you're creating a Swiss design poster, it depends on the content that you're putting in there. So there is no hard, hard and fast rule when it comes to laying out your guides. You can lay them out with a gutter or without a gutter. And typically what you want to do is you want to do three across, five across, seven across, and then whatever you're doing down, you wanna just add two numbers to that. So three by five, five by seven, seven by nine, um, and so on and so forth. If you've got a ton of content that you need to put in there, by all means, just follow those basic guidelines for creating your, your guides or your grid, and you're good to go. Um, and it's really personal preference whether or not you wanna add a gutter to it. So um, I think that that's all that I wanted to show you. I wanted to keep this one nice and short, so I really hope that this was. Inf uh, I really hope this was informative to you. Okay, well, I really hope that you enjoyed and you learned something from that video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe down below. That'll keep more videos like this coming to you. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.